Hey guys, Spartan1170W here, and I had the pleasure of being invited to the Haley Strategic Grand Opening at their new headquarters. Now, I had been there back in September, but it wasn't quite finished yet, and here we see the facility in its full glory, firing at all cylinders. As you can see there, they got the turkey shoot gun hanging on the wall. Really, really cool. They have this thing fully decked out. They invite a lot of people out there to come check it out. Um, and it's really great to see what the space looks like at its you know, true potential, its maximum capacity, and also to see like all the new products they had to show off. Uh, I will say they did a fantastic job with this you know, new location, with this facility, fully fleshing it out, uh, especially upstairs, really, really cool. But as you can see, this kind of gives you a really quick visual look into what the space looks like when you're walking through it. Of course, that is fuck long. Travis gave a pretty cool little welcoming uh, speech when we first got there and to get everyone acquainted with how things were going throughout the day. And they even had, you know, free food and free drinks. It was pretty awesome. Over here, you get a good look at the art gallery area where you can see um, their artistic vision. I think that's one thing that Travis has done really well is kind of um, portray the visual and artistic um, uh, vision of the company with Ellison Kiyomaka. Of course, we have the Lou Micro chest rig. I can't remember if that's the exact nomenclature, but that's basically what it is. It's basically a miniaturized uh, D3. It's really meant for like two 308 mags, or three 556 mags, or four you know sub you know SMG you know type magazines, and it has a couple of the features. So it has a general purpose pouch in the front, kind of like the um, D3 Heavy. It also has um, two smaller. Uh, basically, they took the pistol pouches that would normally be on the D3 and they put them on the sides, on the end. So you can put your multi-tool, flashlight, uh, you know, 40 mic mic if you really had one for this rig, which I don't really see why you would have one with this rig. Or your 9mm or your, uh, your other uh, um, sidearm magazine would be uh, riding on the sides. And as you can see, they have multiple configurations here. This one's even got a tourniquet and a... Uh, um, trauma shears and stuff right in the middle there in between those two um, you know 308 style mags. The three versions they showed off were multi-cam, uh, coyote, and black. Now here we have the little cool 13 slide, this little pistol set up uh, with their trigger and with their sights. I believe the slide was just a prototype they'd done in the past. I can't remember if they weren't thinking about doing it or if they were. I think it actually looks really cool because it's pretty simple. Uh, it's a pretty sleek design, but uh, I think this setup was mostly to show off the actual sights themselves and you know some of the other accessories. Uh, here, as you can see, it's kind of what it looks like when you're coming downstairs. Of course, that is Bob Hildebrand, Bob the Axeman. Uh, me, Calvin, uh, uh, Fuck Long, and Bob all uh, rode here uh, more or less in the kind of as a group and you know hung out throughout the day as a group. And the weapons cages were pretty damn cool because you can kind of play around with all the various accessories dressed up on the guns with all the different weapons configurations uh, they even got a grenade launcher M203 on there also cool little cameo by Eric Graves from Soldier Systems the man with the plan he pretty much has the coolest blog out there when it comes to weapons tech and gear and of course impact uh, weapons components right there showing off the new Haley strategic accessories they got some really cool stuff and their their accessories are very very light here you can kind of see a little bit of everyone and it's full, full maximum capacity. Like it got pretty packed in that facility. Uh, I was really surprised how many people there were to fit. Of course, one of the highlights was the Virtua, um, basically this training system that they have upstairs. Uh, Haley Strategic partnered with Virtua. To basically bring you this super, you know, I guess you could say um, very immersive experience multiple screens, multiple angles, really keeps you on your toes uh, and it's you versus whoever is controlling the scenario and they can really change how it runs, you can't really game it. Um, we had a couple different scenarios, you know, active shooter scenarios were typically the most common and of course you have um, Calvin here trying to engage his active shooter, it's really really funny. The active shooter comes out and he actually, where he shot, was just like around her hair, but I guess it, for some reason it counted as a hit. But really crazy, and it really encourages you to move around the space and think on your feet, because uh, if you've never done any training like this, it, it really uh, shows how crazy and how fast things get at hand. Like, 
it's a totally different mindset from flat range stuff and stuff like that. So I really suggest if you get a chance to go there to give this thing a shot because it'll open your eyes into what you're doing. And of course, Travis thanked everyone for coming out. It was a fantastic event. And uh, they also did a little bit of uh, skydiving too. So um, be sure to check out um, Haley Strategic New Headquarters. Uh, a lot of new gear coming out and uh, really just excited and very happy and blessed that I was able to, to go. So thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan117GW, and I'll see you guys next time.